Welcome to Focus on Faith, the program that brings you portraits of faith from across the nation. Join us as we bring you the faith of men and women from all walks of life who truly represent the spirit of America as we focus on faith. Greetings. Welcome to Focus on Faith. I'm Cindy Anderson, bringing you a worldwide fellowship of Christians in action. It was back in the 1980s when Focus on Faith paid a visit to the Boston Red Sox at their spring training camp in Winter Haven, Florida, that we met Reed Nichols. A former outfielder, Nichols played mainly at center field for the Boston Red Sox. He was selected in the 12th round of the 1976 Major League Baseball Draft. Nichols worked his way through the Red Sox minor league system until he made his major league debut in 1980. In the early 80s, Nichols played reserve roles in a Boston outfield that was composed of Jim Rice, Tony Armas, and the great Dwight Evans. He was also used as a pinch hitter against left-handed pitching. Nichols also played for the Chicago White Sox and the Montreal Expos and he ended his professional career with the Oklahoma City's 89ers in 1988. Now since the filming of this interview in the 1980s, literally multitudes of people, young and old, have seen this timeless testimony through public service programming and cable networks. And now it is available to you through Telemissions International's new Life's Lighthouse series of programs. We hope you enjoy this video, and if you like this series of videos, then leave a thumbs up, and of course, don't forget to subscribe, and please share this video. If you want to check out the entire series of Focus on Faith, just click the link below. And thanks for watching. Focus on Faith. Travel with the Focus on Faith camera crew to Orlando, Florida, where you'll find the Marchant Stadium, spring training camp for the Detroit Tigers. The Tigers are honing their pitching skills for the first preview game of the season tonight with the Boston Red Sox. Which team will have the edge? They know the men they face tonight on the baseball diamond are pros too. Game time. The heat is on. Perform and do your best. Although it's a preseason game, the crowds and fans are filled with tension and expectations for their teams are high. Come with us now as Dr. Gordon Anderson has an in-depth interview with Reed Nichols, a young man who is a fielder and excellent batter for the Boston Red Sox baseball club. And we'll find out more about the motivating force in his life off the baseball diamond. We want to welcome you, Reed Nichols, to Focus on Faith. Thank you, Dr. Anderson. Tell us just briefly, in the background of your years, how many years in professional uh, baseball, Reed? I've been playing three years now, and a little bit uh, the year before that, so about a three years in a month. What does it take, really, to plunge into the competition of professional baseball or whatever athletics are involved? Well, uh, I find it takes a lot of hard work because I spent five years in the minor league program and four years of that on the lowest level in A-ball. So uh, I found when I wasn't going anywhere, it was because I was a little bit lazy and I had to uh, start doing a little bit of work. It takes discipline, doesn't it? Yes, sir. sir. Now, as far as the program's title, Focus on Faith, Reed, we're so concerned for millions of Americans out there, especially young people, that are vitally concerned. Drugs, alcohol abuse, a world of violence. As you look right into that camera out there, what can you tell young America as that is a problem they're confronting today? Well, we have the same problems uh, that anybody else does here. And I found that you know, without my faith in Jesus Christ, 
that I would be in the same boat with everybody else, but he's given me a strength to overcome a lot of problems that I had. Uh, as a matter of fact, not too long ago, I spent my time in the bars and drinking, and, and after I found Jesus Christ, it's changed my life, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, anyone out there could put my uniform on, but that doesn't make them a baseball player. Uh, you can go to church, and you still can't be a Christian. You have to come to a personal knowledge of Jesus Christ and accept Him as the one who's paid for everything that you've done wrong. When I, when I found out about this, I thought, well, uh, I wanted to make sure that I could do this without being a hypocrite. And I found out I could do it. All I'd have to do is say, Jesus died for me, and I accept Him as my Savior, and it's changed my life. Well, was that personal experience at a church? or Where did it happen in your life, Reed Nichols? I think it happened over a period of a month when I was reading the Bible. Uh, every spare moment I had, I spent reading. And the Bible is God's Word, and He gave it to us for a, a guide, uh, like a map to live this life by. And the Bible says that God so loved the world that He gave His Son that we could have life. And not only that, that we could have life more abundantly. Um, when you apply things that the Bible says to your life and say, God, how can I work this in my life? And He'll show you, and when you do it, you're going to find out that uh, He's still working, and he's, he's very much alive, just like the Bible is. Well, that's positive for sure, Reed. Tell us, uh, do you have a family, Reed? Yeah, well, I, I just had a little girl. It would be my second one. My children aren't old enough yet to understand, but my wife and I are working towards uh, bringing them up when they come to uh, understand things better, that they'll understand who Jesus Christ is, and that they'll make their own decision, because just because I'm a Christian and my wife is a Christian doesn't mean that they are. Uh, they have to come to their own decision. As far as uh, broken families, uh, divorce, no matter what the problem is, God's got an answer for it. He's, he's worked in my life because I've come from a broken family. My parents divorced and remarried several times. Hmm. And uh, my background isn't real great. But wherever you are, God can, God can touch you. That's what really speaks. That's the bottom line, Reed Nichols, and I'm sure that's going to encourage, inspire many young people out there the world over as they see these films and focus on faith. Uh, we both relate, of course, to Baseball Chapel and Wally Spolstra, the founder of that great movement, and also Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Yeah. Thank God for these great organizations working in this direction and also with Telemissions International and the Focus on Faith film series. Now, in a brief word, do you say to young America today that there's any scriptures that have special meaning in your life as you read the Bible? Uh, tell us about that. You mentioned something before going on camera. Well, I try to... Uh, most uh, Well, all scripture is for, is for us, uh, for you, for me. And when I, when I read something, I, I ask God, how can I apply this in my life? And I think one of the verses that's helped me in understanding a lot of things is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge God, and He'll direct your path. And I've had to do that many times, especially in this profession, when you never know what's up. And it, it works. It, it could work in the schoolyard. It could work anywhere, because God's Word is alive. Reed Nichols is positive in his stand for Christ today. Thank you, too, for joining us today with our sincere hope that you have been blessed as we have. You're watching Focus on Faith with our guests sharing their timeless testimony. Now, in closing, today's timeless testimony may have impacted someone out there, and God is speaking to you right now, and that person wants to commit their life to follow Christ. Friend, I would encourage you to start by reading your Bible and to begin to practice what the Bible says. And I pray that you will get strong in the desire to go out and find a good Bible teaching church to join. And to not let yourself get distracted, but rather you will make this a priority in your life to seek God's will for a new life in Christ. Now, friend, if you want to know more about having a more abundant and fulfilling life, then this booklet, Beginning with Christ, by Navigators International is a great way to get started and I want to send this to you absolutely free. If you'll just call 1-800-28-FAITH, that's right, just call 
1-800-28-FAITH, and I will be happy to send this booklet to you free. Just leave your name and address, and I will mail it out directly. Or if you prefer, you can simply email us at info at telemissions.org and request this free booklet there. And if you have a specific prayer request, let us know. We will include your request in our daily prayer time. Now, in closing, if you would like to know more about Telemissions International and how this unique ministry got started, just visit our website, that's telemissions.org, and learn the story of how these many timeless testimonies were recorded in the early 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and will live on for decades to come. Also, you can purchase a copy of Born to Preach by the late Dr. Gordon Anderson, Sr. This book, I'm sure, will help those of you who now may be called to a life in the ministry as this book tells the riveting life story of my father's faith, travels, triumphs, and action-packed stories with Alaska wildlife photography and exciting adventures, including on-location interviews with doctors, senators, astronauts, and much, much more. Spanning over his 70-year ministry, this book will captivate and sway the hearts of young and old readers alike. Available on our website, telemissions.org, Check it out. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment on our website. And tell your friends about this new and exciting series of programs. We all know the power of a personal testimony. And this and many more classic testimonies like this, they will continue to spread the light, helping others around the world through God's lighthouse. This picture you see here of the lighthouse, on the stormy shores of the Outer Banks is our hallmark, and it's signifying the importance of Telemissions International reaching out to multitudes for Christ. Friend, just think of it. Every timeless testimony that is being broadcast is like a beacon of light beaming out the good news on the stormy shores of cyberspace for decades to come. So please, won't you consider sharing this program on Facebook or Twitter or whatever you can do to help spread the light. Thanks again for joining us today. This is Dr. Gordon Anderson, Jr. sharing with you our prayer promise. And that is Psalm 121, verse 2, which says, My help cometh from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And remember, friend, to start every day in prayer now God's richest blessings as you focus your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone out there could put my uniform on, but that doesn't make them a baseball player. You can go to church and you still can't be a Christian. You have to come to a personal knowledge of Jesus Christ and accept Him as the one who's paid for everything that you've done wrong. When I, when I found out about this, I thought, well, uh, I wanted to make sure that I could do this without being a hypocrite, and I found out I could do it. All I'd have to do is say, Jesus died for me, and I accept him as my Savior, and it's changed my life.